This segment of DoD TV's Natural Barn is brought to you by Analogics. Protect your herd with the power of science. This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. Here it is, Halloween, and they're doing what they normally do this time of the year. We just heart shot a six and a half year old buck. An exclamation point to the most unbelievable Halloween I've ever had in my life. If a shooter comes out, he's pretty much dead already. Oh. That's what it's all about right there. Holy smokes. Winchester and Drury Outdoors present Natural Born. It's in your blood. It's in your DNA. We've been filming for a long time, and I've sat through some pretty slow Octobers, but I have never seen an October like this past season. The big Ram outdoorsman tells me it's 81 degrees, which also tells me it's probably a little too warm to be trying to do what we're doing in early October. We tried everything. We hunted everywhere. Food plots, tree stands, water crossings, water holes. And we've seen very, very, very few daylight shooters. I counted on one hand how many mature bucks I've seen since September the 15th. Slowest October I've ever seen. You know, I'm thinking, is it me? I start checking my cameras. My pictures even stunk. I couldn't even take good pictures during the daylight. All my mature bucks were moving at night, and I'm thinking, one of these days, this has got to turn around. Well, it's Halloween. The dates are right. The weather's right. I'm praying that tonight is the night. Happy Halloween. I can't wait to go get in a stand tonight. We hunted this morning and saw a little movement, but everything was moving real slow. Typical high pressure. They move late and they move slow. Typical frosty morning high pressure. It seems as if we're ready for them to start this rut, but they're not ready. Hopefully by the time we get in there this evening, you know, we're going to a big green food source. It's dry. We're gonna key in on water. There's a creek right off the hill and there's a big uh, lush winter bulb and sugar beet field. So we'll see if we can't have some action tonight. I, I've had good luck on Halloween before. We'll see what happens. official journal on DruryOutdoors.com. It's the night of Halloween, and in Iowa, Mark Drury can sense something big is about to happen. It's kicking off. This is awesome. Three and a halves are ready. The older bucks weren't. They come in walking in, posturing, and three and a half comes in running everything around. How cool is this? This is good stuff right here. There are bucks coming out of the woodwork. Same farm, couldn't see anything the whole month, and then all of a sudden, I see them all same night. Go figure. Everybody ought to get to experience this one time. Winter bulbs and, and sugar beets, it's unbelievable. I mean, this is ridiculous. Big buck, big buck. Here we go, this is good. 
this is it. Like a heart shot him, yo. Stay on him, buddy. Go down, go down. He is down, baby. We just heart shot a six and a half year old buck. We just heart shot a six and a half year old buck. It is the night of all nights. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. We just did it. He fell right there. I have never had a night ever in my life in the timber like this one. Whew, I am shaking like a leaf. I shot today specifically at 30, 40, 50, 60 yards because this field can be open. He gave me a 43 yard shot and I just laced him at right through the heart. And he died right there and he's a giant. That is awesome. Well, anyone that's been in a box blind knows that they're really made for one person. You add the extra burden, I guess you want to say, of having a cameraman in there, and it can be quite a challenge. But uh, in this case, Mark picked the right spot. He had food, and he had water, and he had a mature deer, and he pulled it off. I think it can be extremely hard, but I think if you're used to it, it can be easy. And obviously, over the years, I've watched Jim Tomey, Mark, and Terry, and all these guys kill giants out of box blinds. The box blind gives you a lot more ability to move and get on deer that are in open areas. Well, box blinds are great for one thing, that's to conceal you as a hunter, but it can also be very difficult and limiting for an archery hunter. You've got to have room to draw your bow, you've got to have room to move from window to window, you've got to open windows, close windows, uh, it can be extremely difficult. You know, I've never bow hunted out of a box blind. I'll have to say, from watching Mark pull this off, it does not look like an easy task, but Seeing the success he's having and uh, not getting any younger, I'm going to have to try this bow hunting out of a box blind. <laughs> How about it? Oh my goodness. Look at this deer. Unbelievable. How about that for an exclamation point to the most unbelievable Halloween Probably the most unbelievable PM sit I've ever had in my life. We got in what we felt was, like was on time, but the deer were early tonight. High pressure day today, and it, without fail, they didn't move this morning because of the frosty morning, high pressure settled in, they moved, moved in slow motion. Tonight they were everywhere. First south after a bunch of norths. Without fail, that first south is always productive. Like nothing I've ever seen. There were four and a half year olds, five and a half year olds, a big wide six and a half year old buck. They were chasing, they were sparring, they were coming after each other. And I was just sitting there enjoying the night and then all of a sudden this guy shows up and I was like, the tempo changed like that. I mean, I knew exactly what buck it was because I've got so many pictures of him. I knew he was six and a half. Joe Foster and I actually encountered this deer two years ago, almost to the date when he was four and a half. And here he lays now, six and a half year old deer. And this marks the end to this particular deer story. And I could not be more excited. Keep up with all the excitement on our official Facebook page. This segment of DoD TV's Natural Barn is brought to you by Scent Crusher. Scent off, game on. We just heart shot a six and a half year old buck. What a way to round out October. I know it's a happy one for me. How do you top that hunt off? I mean, it's the bow hunt of all bow hunts. Well, I've got one person in mind. Well, it was November and we all know what that means. It was bow season during the rut, so what a perfect time to go to the farm and climb up in a tree with Dad. I had one special place I was kind of saving back for her. It's a place I call Big Cedar Bottom. It's about four acres. We put in last bite from Biologic and the pictures I got reinforced why I wanted to go hunt there, especially one buck. 
I called him minus one. He was missing his G1, even in velvet. So mainframe 10, but in reality, he's a big nine point. I believe the deer is five and a half years old and he's all over big cedar bottom. I couldn't wait to sneak Taylor down into this slice of whitetail heaven. She looks at me and says, did I kill him? I knew what happened. I've been there before. With those short shafts, with that much sticking out, she hit that shoulder. In a matter of seconds, I went from a high adrenaline rush to depression mode. We slow mowed it over and over in the tree. My dad pointed on the screen, you know, right where I was probably aiming. And literally the deer dropped a substantial amount. Well, as limiting as a camera can be, it's very important and it's actually a pretty good tool to use after the shot. We use it on every shot we make on an animal just to make sure that we feel comfortable with the kill. Whether it be with a bow or a gun, if you've got that particular shot on film, it can be huge in the successful recovery. It's awesome. I mean, it's like having slow motion replay. A lot of times you think you made a bad shot and you made a good shot. We can go back to the camp, put it up on the big screen TV and watch it over and over again. A lot of times it's hard to even see where your arrow hits the deer. So it's always nice having that video footage to help, you know, make yourself feel more comfortable about it or feel worse about it, unfortunately. I find the shaft about 50 yards down the trail, no penetration very little blood, three or four spots. They lead to a scrape. It just made him mad. He went and worked that scrape. So I decide to put a camera out and see if I can get pictures of minus one. A few days go by. I check some of my cameras again. Minus one is back. He's working scrapes. He's checking that field. He's doing exactly what you would expect a five and a half year old buck to be doing on November the 9th and 10th. I was so happy that Minus One showed back up. He was alive and he was well. And best thing yet, the Missouri rifle season is right around the corner. Tweet the Drury's at Drury Outdoors. Let us know about your hunts. With the knowledge that a deer she shot during bow season is alive and well, Taylor Drury is ready for rifle season. It's finally here, the Missouri rifle season. Give me a prediction for tonight, sister. We're going to Big Cedar Bottom, which is my favorite now because we went there last weekend with the Boss Babe decoy and had some incredible encounters. So now it's the rut, good weather. The gun range is in there pretty short, aren't they? So basically, if a shooter comes out, Look out. he's pretty much dead already. Oh, I can't wait to get in there and I think we're gonna see a lot of deer two keys that make this particular spot golden. One, put a camera there last year, lots of daylight photos, particularly in the afternoon. Two, made the field big enough that it means something. It's not just a small hidey hole food plot. It's a destination spot. But most importantly, we're hunting it on a south wind and it's really the only way to hunt it. 
just south of it is a huge ridge structure. And I picked the one part in the ridge where there was a hollow running north-south so that a south wind has a chance to be consistent. I went up and down the ridge line and everywhere the south was, it kicked back and flew out over this brushy bottom. But right where this hollow is, boom, it was in my face. It stayed consistent. I checked it on a variety of different wind directions. It only works on a south to south-southeast. We got a south today and we're gonna go in there and see if we can get it done. It's opening day, the wind's right. I could not wait to get back in Big Cedar Bottom and I got one deer on my mind. So we had been pinned down because of all the deer. It's 520 and dad and I look up and here he comes. That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. Bye bye. Good job, Taylor. Oh my good God. <laughs> what a nice buck, man. I'm so excited. Yeah, what an evening we had. Oh my God. He is nice. That's what it's all about right there. For someone to actually get a second shot that's when things are going your way. You know, typically when you're hunting with a bow and you hit that deer, they are out of there. It's hard enough to get in front of a deer uh, of that quality once. Uh, to have it come back around in the same season, a deer that you've already hit, luck is on your side. It is extremely lucky, but I also know how Mark and Taylor hunt their deer on their particular property. They hunt smart, they hunt wise, and that opportunity is deserved. You know, that's rare, because a lot of things could have happened to that deer, but you know, sometimes God puts things your way, and congrats on a great deer, Taylor. Oh my, Taylor. Check it out. Look at that. Holy smokes. What? He's a lot bigger and wider than I thought he was. Congratulations. <gasps> well, congratulations, Miss Taylor. Thank you. I look forward to this more than anything else each year, sitting behind that camera filming you. Tonight was really fun. We encountered this deer last weekend, came into the Boss Babe, didn't quite get it done, uh, but what do you know, who steps back out this weekend? and a uh, different story. Instead of the PSC Chaos in her hand, we had the old pink Thompson Center, and it was a Missouri opening day to remember. And one thing I always know, when I'm hunting with you, we're not gonna spook any deer, you're gonna make the shot, close the deal, and that's exciting for me. It makes me proud to watch how you handle yourself when we've got deer in tight. Congratulations. Thank you. Next week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. What a fantastic hunt, Tad Brown. How about you, Mr. LaVox? How about it, brother? Put it there, buddy. I'm after a deer I call Pickett. We'll see if we can't have some luck with Governor Terry Brandstad. We're on a roll here. <laughs>